now it's time for Radio 8 Ball. Give us a shake. It's the Radio 8 Ball. Thank you. Welcome to the Radio 8 Ball Show. I am your host, Andros Jones. You may remember me from such films as Nightmare on Elm Street 4. What's that? What's that? <laughs> For those of you who are not familiar with Radio 8 Ball, this is the show where we answer questions by picking songs at random and interpreting those randomly chosen songs as the answers to the questions, like picking musical tarot cards. The whole show is based on synchronicity. And when you enter a synchronicity show, crazy things happen. You all have question cards, correct? I'm going to ask you to write down questions on that and put your emails on and your name so we can call you up. If your question is chosen, you'll be invited up on stage to ask a question, spin the wheel of eight, and then pick a song, which will be the answer to your question. These songs are going to be performed by a very special songwriter, someone I've known for many years. Uh, I know I, I met him as an actor, but I've grown to love him as a musician. Let's bring him on stage. Rodney Eastman. Yeah. The Rodney Eastman. The Rodney Eastman. As you can see, Rodney has eight songs on the board behind him. There are eight numbers on the Wheel of Eight, and we also have a deck of Radio 8 cards, numbered one through eight. That's how we'll be picking the songs. I'm going to start this off by asking my own question. We'll also be, I want to also let you know, we'll also be joined on stage by several other members of the Nightmare on Elm Street cast over the years, and uh, I'll introduce them to you as they get here. And uh, so you just got to stick around for that. And at the end of the show, we're going to be joined by a guy uh, you might know, Robert England. Yeah. On this big screen, right now, he's eating a big Italian meal with the guy who's figuring out the Skype for him. Uh, but he'll be joining us soon. So I'm going to start off with my own question. Uh, this is the first time that we've, that I've done, that I've brought together my Radio 8 Ball world with my Nightmare on Elm Street, my horror film acting world. And one of the things that I've thought, we, one of the great things about being in a horror genre series is that I get an opportunity to get together with my fellow cast members every year or so, and it's always a joy. But uh, one of the things that I'm hoping that we'll be able to do is do more Radio 8 Balls at conventions, have Rodney come and play the music, and oh, yeah. do this, maybe have Robert here on stage live with us sometime, maybe next year. Yeah. So that's my question. Is this the first of more Radio 8 Ball convention style shows, or is this the one and only? Four. Well, well, let's see. Let's see what the what the pop oracle says. So this is where I go to spin the wheel of eight. Song number four, You Come True. You come true. Hey, I like that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Rodney Eastman. Jeez, good thing it wasn't yeah, seven. <laughs> good thing it wasn't seven. <laughs> or eight, getting old. So yeah, this song is called You Come True. <laughs> Yeah. 
come true. Yeah. Is that on one of your, one of your CDs, Rodney? No, I'm that horrible musician that has hardly any recorded material available to the general public. I'm that, real, that's so horrible. Yeah, I'm a real cult taste, you know. Yeah. Well, then, to consider yourselves lucky, people. This is a rare opportunity. Actually, actually, I played with a band called King Straggler, and uh, we have uh, two CDs that are, there, are available online. Cool. Yeah. So, what, before I get into how answering, figuring out how that song answers my question about doing more Radio 8 Balls on Elm Street, um, can you tell us where that song comes from, like the background of that song? Uh, yeah, that, like the majority of my songs, comes out of, uh, you know, a broken-hearted situation. Um, a, you know, another girl had left me and, you know, feeling sorry for myself. And, uh, you know, that song is just about, uh, you know, like, what would life be without wishful thinking, you know? And, uh, you know, it was just like a, you know, she was like a, a dream to me, no pun intended. And, mm -hmm. you know, maybe if I just did the right thing, like, she could come true. Ah, so there is a little bit of a cautionary tale. Like, there is a wishful thinking aspect to wanting to have the show happen again, but you're saying it's sort of, you know, that some of these, uh, that in, in this case, did it come true? In the cases of you, where did she come back? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to not. <laughs> uh, but there were still some, there were still some optimistic things. I like, you know, you, you, you heard in the, the opening song where I say, give us a shake. That's one of the taglines for the show. And that was one of the first lines in the song was about... Wish I could shrink you up. And then lay you down into my pocket. What, carry no, there carry a, you around, around. There was a line in the, the very beginning about shake. I could shake. No, I want to crush you like a Napa Valley grape. <laughs> I think there was a line before that where you said, oh. I mean, I could recite the whole. You know, yeah, what's the first verse? Uh, wish I could shrink you up and then I'd lay you down and, into my pocket and I'd carry you around, around, around. Huh. I want to crush you like a Napa Valley grape. I'd make a fine red wine and drink you down and down and down. Drink you down and down and down. Yeah, I, I, for me, I guess, you know, there probably is a, there is a certain amount of wishful thinking here that's going on. But, um, but, I, but I think, you know, you, Andras, you come true. I, you know? I do. It's, for those of you who know me intimately, it is, that is like yeah. a fact. Yeah. That I come true. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think, yeah, I, I mean that seriously. You know, like, I, you know, I, the song is written about another, another person. You know, you have no control over another person, but when that song was the song that was chosen, I thought, you know... That it comes true. Yeah, you can, any, you and anyone in this room can make whatever they want to come true, you know? It's the secret. Yeah, that's exactly right. Visualization. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's a little bit of an example of how Radio 8 Ball works. It's, it's always interesting when I ask the questions, because I don't have me to help me figure it out for me. So... You won't have that problem, because I'm going to be here helping you figure it out. Um, what we need to do now is collect your questions. So if you've written down a question, please hold it above your head. Let me tell you about these, these questions. When you ask them, when you're up on stage, we're going to treat you really, really nice. Uh, with a lot of respect, you're the star of the show.